All right, one of the things I first started doing on this channel 430, 440 videos ago, when I say this channel, it's not my channel, it's the Dice Tower. One of the things I started doing on the Dice Tower that I love doing so much was my versus videos, pitting two versus games, or three in some cases together, and finding out which one of these games is the best of the best. Usually there'd be some sort of cutesy skit associated with it. Well, there's no skits today. We're going straight to the meat of the game, straight to the chocolate of the game, as it were, straight to the hospital of the game, as it were. Well, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? Anyway, today we're talking about two games from the same publisher that I would not have put together in my mind until someone on the comments of my Chocolate Factory review said, hey, you should try Dice Hospital. A lot of people compare these. And at first blush, you think, no, not at all. What's, what is there to compare? You know, this one's an isometric worker placement view game where you use dice. And this one is a resource management with a factory builder, engine builder. How are they similar? And then it hit me. It's like, oh, they're actually very similar. They both feature, first of all, I'll say it right out. Great components, great art. They secondly feature a total, the main meat of the game is a, all right, you do your game, you do your game, you do your game, I'm doing mine, we'll play solo, solitaire for a minute, and we'll come back up, see how everybody did after that round, right? It becomes a solitaire moment, and then you come back up and finish the round and start over. So they're very similar in that. So as we do in these versus videos, we're going to break down, number one, user interface. What do you do on your turn in your game? Then we're going to talk about art, all those sort of components, etc. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to give you final thoughts. But also in this video, the reason why there's no cutesy skits, I'm giving you a review of a machine. You say, why are you doing it in this video? Because I love upgrading my games and components and making them feel so much better than they already are. The best way to do that is by upgrading your pieces with resin bits from resin 3D printing. I I'm, I'm prefer resin printing when it comes to board gaming because it's just so clear and so nice. If you've seen my segments on Board Game Breakfast, you know I'm a really big sucker for resin printing. You can do all sorts of stuff with it, but upgrading the bits in your game or upgrading huge pieces of the game is something you can do. So we're looking at the Elgu Mars Pro 2 today. If you've seen my other review of the Mars 1, you know it's a great machine, but the Pro 2 does something that just changes the game. And if you've been on the fence about getting into 3D printing, this is the one. So we're going to come back. We're going to talk Dice Hospital versus Chocolate Factory, and then also tail in, dovetail that Mars Pro. Let's go. Now, first and foremost, I want you to notice that this designer and this designer is not the same name up here. In fact, none of the names are the same, not even the art. So why am I comparing these? Well, normally I wouldn't compare two games that are from the same company just because they're the same company. right? You wouldn't say, hey, let's compare Twilight Imperium and Legend of the Five Rings of the Card Game. That doesn't make any sense just because they're Fantasy Flight. But what does make sense is that these two games have a lot of similarities to them. There's engine building in both. There is some solitaire turns of placement of actions in both that really do show how well you do as a player by how well you play your own engine that you've built. There's a little bit of interaction in both, but both of them really involve you completely doing the best you can on your turn to see if you can get the most points. So as per normal, we're going to talk about direct user interface, the indirect user interface, how you interact with other players when it comes to comparing the two, uh, art, things like that, components, etc. But also which one has the most fun overall experience right now. So the reason I put the Mars Pro 3D printer video in this is because of this right here. Uh, I just made these for this game, for Dice Hospital, and they look phenomenal, right? This is someone's file that was on Thingiverse. It printed out beautifully, and it's so much detail, and this looks so much better than playing with just the cards. I don't have, or playing, yeah, playing with just the cards. I don't have the version that came with the Kickstarter, so I decided to up my own game, and then I painted them. And look how good that looks sitting on the table. They're phenomenal, these little ambulances. The detail, even though this isn't the most detailed sculpt, the detail and print time is shocking. When I printed this on the Mars 2 Pro versus the Mars 1, we went from a five hour print time to like a three hour print time. It shaved off nearly two hours. It was insane the amount of time that this Mars 3 or Mars 2 Pro shaved off uh, just from using it, not to mention the details there. And obviously this is painted with me doing some painting and detail work, et cetera. But 
just the idea that you're able to get such nice prints that are made for games that are on Thingiverse, etc., is really such a plus. All right, this is the segment we call Direct User Interface. And what I mean by that is it shows the two things that you as a player are looking at. And I've given you examples, essentially, of what you're going to do with both of them. Now, notice there are no meeples and workers over here. There are over here. Now, the way this works is your chocolate factory is going to be getting cocoa beans to put in here, and they're going to process the cocoa beans based on what machines are above and below it. So when the bean is here, as you'll push the beans through, you'll notice that whatever's above and below it, and currently we don't have a machine below it, you can take that action accordingly. So this would be upgrade that cocoa, this chocolate, into something else. Right? That's what that means one step and there's a step progression on the main board but you have these factory parts these are things like for two coal you can turn a bean straight into chunks and uh, the nuts ones you can spend this to turn any kind of chocolate bar into two wrapped candies for two coal so there's a lot of these that get way better and better to use and as it works you're going to put these onto your factory floor out here you're going to upgrade your factory you can even change some of the ones that are already there if you wanted to and to where by the end of the game you're going to have this just rocking willy wonka style chocolate factory where anything you want can be made quickly and efficiently so that you can meet your goals which is the main part of the user interface of the solitaire moment of the game is looking at this how you're going to treat your cocoa this round, what you're going to do with it this shift as you get three shifts per day and there are six rounds in the game. So that is Chaco Factory over here in Dice Hospital. You have a similar situation going on. You have hospital meeples that are, or you have the, you have patients who are going to come in as dice that are going to sit on these spaces here. If you never have room for a dice, they have to die. Healthcare rationing. It's really what we wanted to get into today, right? No, so if you, that's really what happens. If you don't have room for them, they just straight up die. Or you pick someone in here who's like, hey, you're not gonna make it, you're gone. Anyway, you take these and you're gonna get new uh, departments to put into your hospital out here during the time. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the workers, you're gonna get three white workers, and then you're gonna get certain specialists that match the different colors in here, yellow, blue, green, and red. And as you do those, those are gonna give you special power. So basically, you're building your engine out here to have a better worker placement style game than you would. Essentially, what you're trying to do is heal the dice from up here and you know take them from a four to a five, five to a six, six to a seven, and when you hit seven, they get discharged and go home. If they drop by going down to a one, they die and well, they go home too, but not quite the same way. Point being is this, as you play the game, you're trying to maximize this and each time you heal a dice up one, they move down here to where they've been treated. Any dice that's not been treated will drop by one. So if you have a two and it drops to a one, they're toast. No, sorry, that's wrong. If you have a one that drops to a zero, then they're toast. Point being, worker placement here, resource management over here. Both of them are solitaire moments in the game. The game literally just turns to, all right, everybody take their turns, and you come back up and you tell each other how you did, basically. So that is the direct user interface. Now, as we were doing the overview, you saw the majority of the components for Dice Hospital. I wanted to show you one major, major win that Chocolate Factory has over Dice Hospital is that each and every one of the resources is what it is. You've got chocolate chunks, chocolate bars with fingers. You've got the wrapped candies here. You have the candy that you would put into a box. Like, uh, what are they called? Uh, uh, pot of gold or uh, what are they called? Uh, oh, they're yellow and they have the Whitman sampler sort of thing. These little chocolate chunks here. You have the tiles that run through. So all in all, hands down, Chocolate Factory to me wins the category of production quality. Now Dice, Dice Hospital has some great art. I love the isometric view of the game. But at the end of the day, I'm going to give the win to the one with these wooden bits and components just because they're such a pleasure to look at as you play the game. That being said, Dice Hospital's art also is just as high quality as Chaka Factory's art, and both of them look great on the table. They're both really good games that you would not be... Uh, people are not going to walk by and go, Ugh, is that one of those tough counter pusher war games? No, they both look great. They have a really friendly looking art style. But at the end of the day, production value has got to go, or production style, I should say, has got to go to Chocolate Factory, if not just for the bits and pieces alone. Okay, so I'm out here in the shed right now. I've got the Mars and Mars Pro, two, Mars Pro and Mars Pro 2. It's a little loud because I'm currently printing something over here. This is for my daughter. It's not for me, but uh, look pretty snazzy anyway. So here's what we're talking about. We're talking about build volume. Now, looking at the Mars Pro, in the Mars Pro 2, you really can't physically, visibly see a difference, but when you throw them in the slicer, you can see a major difference. And the Mars 2 Pro has just enough to where you can get so much more out of it 
than you can with this, especially when it comes to rotating your prints certain ways to get better angles, to get better things printed. For instance, you might be able to get something for instance, you might on this machine try to get something on there that just won't fit. You can't scale it down because it needs to fit for something else for a part of a bigger project. But here, the flexibility of that build plate is so much better. And here's the beautiful part. This has a two second printing speed, which means that every two seconds, a new layer is getting printed. This one is a six second. Now, combo that over here with my Photon S, this one has an eight second. So you're talking about eight seconds. This does it in two seconds. What that means is it drops down, flashes light, one, two seconds, moves up, moves down, next layer, two seconds. This would be six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're talking about a huge difference. So for bang for your buck, I'm 100% always gonna recommend the Mars 2 Pro. Even if the cost is a little bit higher, just simply for that little bit build, bigger build volume, which you may not think you'll notice, but you certainly will, and specifically for that speed. I can't recommend these two machines highly enough. They're both great, especially if you're trying to get into the printing game, but this is a really great place to start because of how detailed and finely detailed, but not only that, the price point. We're talking about if you say, if you say, man, I really want to get into 3D printing, you could save your money on four games and you have enough money to buy one of these machines and have tons and tons of uses and stuff, which you've seen me do already, and we're going to continue to do in this series. So that is Dice Hospital and Chaco Factory. Number one, let's go to the category of user interface. Which user interface do I like better, first and foremost? Because that's the meat of the game, right? Which user interface? For me, I'm even even as I sat down to record, it was kicking around this in my mind, but I'm going to give the user interface, the one that is more engaging to me user interface wise is Dice Hospital. I like the fact that there's the idea that the, the patients get there and you better have room for them or somebody's got to die. That's how rationing works with that healthcare sort of thing. Somebody's going to die, somebody's going, sorry, you didn't make it. The necrosis is set in and you're done. Gangrene for the win. For the loss, doesn't matter. Bad stuff. Get those hospital patients there. You then have to figure out, okay, how am I going to get them better to get them out of here? I'm a doctor. I'm a run a hospital. I want to get them better. I don't want them to die on me. I want them to get the heck out of here so we can get more patients in to make them better too. So I love that interface. Now, that being said, the chocolate factory interface of the factory and pushing through that, that uh, what's that thing called? What is it? You, you move conveyor belt you move that conveyor belt and the uh, it just really works i love that no other game that i know of does that and it does it so well to where you upgrade it here and you upgrade it here and boom you keep on upgrading such a good game chocolate factory is great it takes second place but just barely now let's talk art and components i've already given you the answer on the components alone components go to chocolate factory hands down they look so good those chocolate chunks of bits even though i've upgraded my ambulances with the Elgu Mars Pro 2, as we talked about in the beginning of this video. Uh, not a sponsored product, by the way. I'm uh, just reviewing it. Um, no, I'm not paid to say this or anything like that. So I just, I'm mentioning it because I specifically was excited about upgrading those ambulances for this game. So I thought, well, what better video to throw it in? So uh, the win here goes to... Um, what did I say? Chocolate Factory for the pieces. They just look so good. I mean, the, the chocolate chunks, the screen printed meeple or resource bits look so good. So overall experience, <laughs> this one's so tricky. If you're going to ask me, okay, Brian, you can only play one of these right now. Which one are you going to get? The short answer is I'm going to buy both of them. Okay. I'm going to buy both. I'm going to own both of them because they're different enough, but they're similar enough. I'm going to own both. But if somebody's like, hey, which one are we playing tonight? Because that's really what matters. Because some of these, this is going to be your answer for which one do I buy, is which one do we play tonight? So here's the answer. Which one do I play tonight? The one I'm going to reach up and grab the most is most likely going to be Dice Hospital. I know I didn't want to say that at the beginning of this video because I thought, man, it's definitely Chocolate Factory. But Dice Hospital is just a win for me. It's such a fun game. I love the mechanics. I love the push and pull of, man, I've got to get these patients out of here so I can get new patients in here to get me more points. It's such a well-rounded game all the way around. So Dice Hospital barely takes it. We're talking about photo, nose, longer lip in a race, like of horse racing, just enough to get over that edge. Dice Hospital takes it. So I hope you enjoyed the Versus video. Now let's look quickly to the Elgu Mars Pro 2. This machine, I have something I've been wanting for a long time. This machine does something that it, bl it blows everything else out of the water. Resin printing is something you've heard me talk about before. It's liquid resin in a vat that builds up layer by layer by layer by layer by layer until you pull out something incredible. And what it does is it freezes light, or light freezes the resin. 
on, off, on, off, on, off, each layer, thousands of layers, about two, four thousand, six thousand layers right here worth of stuff. And you say, okay, how long does it take per layer? Well, first machine I ever had was eight seconds a layer. You say, well, that's not too bad. That's 8,000 seconds for a thousand layer print. The Mars Pro 1 that I have, it freezes at six seconds a layer. Okay, we're talking about 6,000 seconds. The Mars Pro 2, this is why you need this machine. Two seconds per layer. Two seconds per layer. It literally goes one, two, one, two. It dramatically speeds up printing time to where you could take something that would be an all day project and you could do it three times in a day, essentially. And I don't know the specific math on that. There's certain variables involved, but I will tell you that I'm 100% recommending this to be the intro machine you get when it comes to resin 3D printing. Because again, you can do so much when it comes. I did those ambulances, the ones you saw in the video, I did those on there. I've done uh, all sorts of upgrades to my games, bits and components and pyramids and stuff with resin printing. This machine will be the go-to. If anybody says, hey, how do I get into 3D printing, it, specifically resin style, you go get a, a Mars 2 Pro. It is incredible what it can do in the technology, that clear screen, that high resolution, excellent quick light it's so good so if you're into 3d printing get one of these if you haven't got it yet go get one now if you want to get into resin 3d printing and see all the upgrades and updates you can do 100 percent go get this it will make your gaming so much more fun just having those nice bits that you control so i'm brian drake here on the dice tower make sure to follow us on twitter instagram etc dice tower brian until next time we'll see you